the season of great increase in the presence of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, one of your favorite prophetic voices. God is raising up a new breed in this hour and in this generation. Amen. And I'm excited for the month of November. And whenever it is a new month, and this is how it started with me personally, all right? It started with me personally because I would ask God, Lord, what is the word for my life, for me personally? And as I walked in relationship with Jesus, the Lord would begin to speak to me, hear me, about what I should expect. So I could begin to plan and prepare properly and accordingly into what was about to happen in my life. Amen. Expectation. And then the Lord began to increase the prophetic gift the mantle, and the oversight and the sight, vision, the seer over my life. So then the Lord began to give me greater words, governmental words, national words, corporate words for the church, for the body, seasonal words. So the Lord began to give me different types of words because as you are faithful with the Lord in the little, he begins to entrust you with more to release the word of the Lord over more people, regions, and nations. Someone to say more. So every month, the Lord gives me a word to release and to decree and to prepare and to edify God's people, you, about what's to come. And of course, as I go into these prophetic words of the month, we go into scripture, we go into history, we go into the Hebraic roots, and then from there, we release prophetic predictions, prophetic revelations of what you can expect for this month. If you're with me today, someone say amen. Give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. Well, Lord, I thank you for this word. Thank you for every single person that is here today. God, I prophesy miracles, signs, and wonders in their life like never before. If you believe it, give the Lord a mighty clap. Shout out hallelujah. Well, friends, I'm so glad you're here. It's been a tremendous time in the glory, a tremendous time in revival. It truly is revival season. Amen. And let me tell you, in this month of November, you're going to give thanks to the Lord like never before. I declare November to December in the last two months of this year, 2022, expect double portions. In these last two months, expect not one measure, but two measures. Double measures. Expect a double portion anointing in these last two months as we finish 2022 in Jesus' name. Who's ready to finish this year with a big bang? Who's ready to finish this year with a double portion glory experience in the glory of God? Who's ready to finish this year with double? Someone say double. Now, this is a very important, critical time. You already understand to the prophet and to the prophetic person. These are urgent, crucial, critical times. You do not have time to play games because it's revival season. It's harvest time. And also because God is accelerating. And I don't know about you, but these are happening so fast all around the world and even in my own life that I'm getting a little scared. It's like a pinch me God moment. God, this is unreal. This is unbelievable. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? But let me tell you, it's too good to be true. It probably is Jesus. I'm telling you, get ready for too good to be true moment. Get ready for you to be in shock and in awe at the goodness and the glory of God. Moses said, do not let your glory pass me by. Moses cried out, do not let your glory pass me by. And I believe this is that conjunction, grand junction moment where God is saying, do not let my glory pass you by. Who's ready to catch it? Who's ready to ride it? Who's ready to go to the next level, riding on waves of revival and the waves of the Holy Spirit? Someone say waves. I'm telling you, the waves of tsunami glory. The red tsunami wave of justice, of the blood of Jesus, the red tsunami wave of the Spirit of God is going to overtake this country. And we declare and we decree 
that there will be a red tsunami wave in the midterm elections, that we're going to see the overturning of evil, injustice, corruption, wickedness, the swamp will be drained and will be an outpouring and an outbreaking and a flooding of God. So get ready, says the Lord, because even in the next week with the midterm elections, we're going to see an overturning of different states, different counties, different regions. We're going to see an overturn. Some say overturn. We're going to see an overturn. Turn as the waves of revival and the waves of God's justice begins to hit the House, begins to hit the Senate, begins to hit the House of Representatives as the waves of justice begin to flow across America and across the earth. Get ready for tsunami waves, says God. And when tsunami waves begin to come, people will either go under or they will ride it. They will either go under or they will be a rider and a surfer of the waves. Who's ready to ride the greatest waves of your life? Who's ready for the greatest wave and the greatest ride adventure of your life? If you're ready for that, say amen. And give us hearts and likes. Hallelujah. And when the wave comes, it thrusts you forward. Either you go down because the power of the tsunami. Or you're thrusted forward with that energy, that momentum. My goodness. And let me tell you, you are going to ride this wave in Jesus' name. Someone shout hallelujah. In fact, I see in the spirit right now, I see the Lord Jesus riding the waves. Because the Bible says he rides on the clouds. He rides on the clouds and he is riding on the waves of revival. Hallelujah. And let me declare right now that you are also going to ride on these waves with the Lord Jesus Christ. It's going to be easy. It's going to be breezy. You're going to be above and not beneath. You're going to be above only and not beneath. You are going to be the head and not the tail. God's going to raise you up and he's going to bring the proud low. Oh, this is a time and season of overturning, says God, for different. People who puffed themselves up, who lifted themselves up in haughtiness, in arrogance, in detestable pride. They will be brought low in this season because the waves of revival and glory are about to be thrusted forward and overtake in Jesus' name. Come on, pray with me. And I declare even today on Halloween that there's going to be an overturning and there's going to be a covering in different cities, clubs, bars, regions where there's Halloween party, there's going to be a covering of the angelic and of the power of Jesus. Even now, we declare confusion on the camp of every enemy, confusion on every Wicca and every coven that's trying to conjure up witchcraft and seances, confusion that you will shut it down. Somebody say, shut it down that the power of God will shut it down in Jesus' name, that people would get saved, the fear of God and the conviction of the Lord would come upon him, and God will shut down every evil, demonic agenda of witchcraft in Jesus' name. Somebody shout hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made, and God is about to shut down Certain evil things, high places, astral poles that have been set up. It's about to get shut down. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. Give me some hearts on people of God. My goodness, I know I'm flowing here today. But this is going to be a very important month, November. Hallelujah. And who's ready to thank God? Because this is a month of fullness. Someone say fullness. This is a month of fullness. My goodness. This month, you are going to be full and overflowing. My goodness. Listen, I want to talk to you. Because in this month, in the Hebrew, we are currently in the Hebrew month called Sheshvan. Don't say Sheshvan. We are in the Hebrew month called Sheshvan. And many of the Hebrews actually call this Mar Sheshvan. And Mar in the Hebrew means bitterness. Mar in the Hebrew means bitter. 
Now, why would this month be known as a month of bitterness? Do you know why? Because there's a lot of rain. In this month of Sheshvan or Mar Sheshvan, there is a lot of rain. Some rain. Now, the glory of God is going to rain down. R-E-I-G-N. Like a king rain. There's going to be revival rain of water substance. And there's going to be kingdom ruling and reigning this month. If you believe it, say amen. Now, Sheshvan or Mar Sheshvan is the month of heavy rain. It is the month of the latter rain. It is the month of the winter rain. Someone say amen. And the Jews believe, actually, according to scripture and history, hear me now. In this month of Mar Sheshvan, this is the month of the great flood of Noah. The great flood. Flood of Noah. This is the month where there was the flood of Noah, where there was the covering. Now, let me ask you, when the flood of Noah came, do you think it was just a little cute trickle? I'm telling you, this month, every drought is going to be destroyed. Every financial drought is going to be destroyed. I need you to hear this. As a man of God, I prophesy the financial droughts the relational drought, the spiritual drought is going to be overcome and overtaken with the outpouring and the flood of Jesus, the flooding, the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Ruskata, this month, the financial drought will be exterminated in Jesus' name. If you believe it, give the Lord some hearts and likes and clap your hands. This month is the month, my goodness, where the portals were open in the heavens. There were open heavens. There were open heavens. And the Bible says, in the foundations of the earth, it began to open up and there were a springing up of waters. My goodness. That's why it's the double heaven and earth at the same time, simultaneously creating a spiral, a portal, rukashakara, and things are gonna shake up. And let me tell you, this month you are gonna be hit on every side with the waters of revival and the waters of the Holy Ghost. Some would say flood. You see Genesis chapter seven, hallelujah. Genesis chapter seven, verse six, the Bible says, now Noah was 600 years old when the flood of water came upon the earth. Oh, then Noah and his sons and his wife and his son's wives with him entered. Some say enter, entered the ark because of the water of the flood. My goodness, entered the ark because of the waters of the flood. Are you ready to enter into the ark of God's glory? Are you ready to enter into the ark of God's presence? I'm telling you, this flood is coming this month. There will be a flood. There will be a tsunami wave flood. There will be an overflowing burning and an outpouring of the glory of God. Come on, I need you to pray in the Holy Ghost. This is the month where there's going to be overflow and fullness. Overflow. Marsheshvan. This is the month of heavy rain, of the winter rains of the latter rains. And the reason why they call it Marsheshvan is because there's so much rain. Yes, the flood is an oxymoron or it is a dichotomy. What does that mean? It's bitter because the past world is now gone. I need you to hear this. Your past, it's bitter because the past is flooded. Some didn't make it. Some will not make it. So that's why it's bitter, because the old is gone. Your old relationships, your old connections, the old anointings, old levels, it's gone and it's under, like it's buried in the grave. However, it's sweet because it's the hope of a new life. It's the hope of a new beginning. Come on, there's new glories, new mantles, New favors, new open doors God is releasing over your life in this month of Sheshvan. Who's ready for the heavy rain? I'm telling you, open heavens, even the earth is going to open up and things are going to be flooded in your life. And I prophesy, even now, 
that God is going to release a sign and wonder in your life concerning the flood. I'm reminded right now where my church years ago when we were in uh, the downtown underground basement church in Los Angeles, we were in the basement of a building and our church would get flooded many times with sewage water because we're in a basement and our church would get flooded many times, especially when it rained. Hear me now. And I remember my friend, Prophet Chad Dedman shared the story and Prophet Chad Dedman shared the story that um, whenever, uh, and I'm butchering the story a little, so excuse me, but he, I believe he shared a story about Bob Jones and shared that Bob Jones's base or church one time got flooded. And hear me now, but when it got flooded, he got all new carpets, all new chairs, all new upholstery. Who's ready for the new? And I believe that even though there's a flooding and there is a covering and a removal of the old, the sin, the evil, and the corruption, there's also going to be new life, new love, new glory, new faith and prosperity in Jesus name. So this is the month of the flood of Noah. And hear me now, in the same month, the flood began to break out this month. And exactly one year later, this is what, hear me now, exactly one year later, exactly one year later, this is when all the waters finally receded, the dove came back with an olive leaf and hear me now and finally noah's family and all of the creatures came out of the ark so what does that mean in the same month of marsheshvan was the flooding one year later in the same month of sheshvan marsheshvan one year later exactly the ark is open and they finally move forth on dry land why am I sharing this? Because this is a month of great transition. This is a month of great portals, open heavens, and transition. You see, in the Gregorian calendar, we are in the month of November. November is the 11th month. I want you to put out your index finger like this and like this, both hands, and like this, 11. This stands for double doors of destiny. This is a month of double doors of destiny. 11 in the Hebrew, it also means transition. That's why we see 9-11, the terrorist attacks, on the 11th day. Because 11 stands for great transition. So in this month of November and Sheshvan, you're going to finally come out. Come on, somebody. Finally come out of the place, the valley, the wilderness you've been stuck in, in the ark, you've been hiding. You're going to finally come out and transition into your next season and into your next stage. If you believe it, say hallelujah and give us some hearts and likes. So this is a month of great transition. Many changes, some say great changes. And even in the spirit, I saw that this is a, a hen month. The Lord showed me a door hinge, and the door hinge allows the door to swing open or to swing shut and to be closed. So I'm going to say hinge. This is a hinge month, and this is a month of swinging. I believe doors are going to swing open. I believe states are going to swing open. Situations are going to swing towards your favor. Rababa. There's going to be a swinging forth of doors and destiny doors in your life. Many things are hanging in the balance. Many things are hanging. And this is the month of hitting the great change and the swinging. So it's an amen. In this month, this is a month where things are going to change, swing, and move and open forward in your favor. Some would say doors are opening in Jesus' name. There's gonna be great transition. Great, great transition. 
this month. There's going to be a flooding and overcoming and an overflowing of the glory of God. So I believe this month, friends, there's going to be justice. Even as Elon Musk purchased and is now the owner of Twitter, there's great changes. There is great transition of leadership, of financial levels, positions in church, positions in government, in politics. There's going to be great changes, swinging and hinging and taking forth. This is the month of the current of the glory of God. Hallelujah. Now, if you're with me today, I want you to give us some hearts and likes. Because there will be a flooding of judgment, a flooding of justice. There will be a flooding in Jesus' name. Now, the flood is a full immersion. It is a full baptism, my goodness. And God is going to baptize you in the power of revival and in the power of the Holy Spirit this month. This is a month of full immersion. Some say hallelujah. So I want to give you three prophetic points you will be on the lookout for this month, people of God. This month, amen. Three prophetic points you can be on the lookout for. Number one is the flood. Be on the lookout for the flooding of his presence, the flooding of his glory, the flooding of financial favor. Be on the lookout for the flooding, the full overtaking, the full immersion of the glory of God. This month, November, hallelujah, you're going to be so undone and overwhelmed in the glory of Jesus Christ. Number two, the second thing you can expect and be on the lookout for in this November, it is fullness. Some would say fullness. It is fullness. It is going to be a month of overflow and fullness. My goodness, I want to prophesy. You're going to be filled with joy this month. Your, your belly is going to be filled with delicious food. Your stomach is going to be filled with outbursts of laughter. You're going to be filled with joy. You're going to be filled with peace, with presence. No more depression. No more witchcraft. No more loneliness or lowliness. You're going to be filled with so much power and glory in Jesus' name that it's just going to overflow out of you. You're going to spill it over. You're going to leak it over. It's going to spill out your brim is going to overflow and it's going to spill it out of your cup. Hallelujah. The Bible says he anoints your head with oil and he fills your cup. Who's ready for the anointing to fill your life? So this month there's going to be fullness. Some would say fullness. When there's a fullness, hear me now, it means it's a tipping point. Imagine this cup is full with water or with some sort of a liquid. If it's full, now it's tipping over. Some would say it's tipping over in Jesus' name. There is a tipping point. And let me tell you, it things are tipping over. Old evil places are falling over. London Bridge is falling down. Hallelujah. The high places, the Washington Monument is falling down. Humpty Dumpty is falling down. Jezebel is falling down. It's tipping over because of the overflow and the weight of God's presence, judgment, and justice. If you believe it, say amen. And I believe in this month, the third prophetic point I want to release over you. Hallelujah. It is finality. This month, hear me, this month, God is going to finish some things in your life. Even as the flood of Noah finished that phase of creation, that phase of history, that phase of evil, sin, and wickedness, 
And one year later, in the same month, this month, Sheshvan. Imagine this month. There was a finishing of a season, and they finally stepped out of the ark into the new world, into new creation. Hallelujah. That was a finishing. It's a finish. Not only that, in this month, this is the month the scholars believe that Solomon finished the temple. This month, King Solomon finished building the temple this month in Sheshva. Someone say hallelujah. In this month of November of Sheshva, King Solomon finally finished the temple. I want you to give the Lord a mighty clap. He finished the temple. And what happened after the temple was finished? There were sacrifices. There were offerings going up to God. Come on, somebody. There was so much sacrifice, so much offering, so much partying, so much feasting in the Lord, giving thanks, praise, honor, worship to the Lord, that the heavens were filled with glory. The heavens were filled with incense, with smoke. Oh, the whole country, the whole region, the whole kingdom and land was filled with joyous praise, feasting, breakthrough, shouts, roars of glory, trumpet blasts of celebration, freedom, liberation, jubilee. Oh, the temple finished hallelujah so in this month there's going to be a finality of the things of god a finishing of god's doing and i prophesy and i declare this month there will be a finishing come on a finishing and a celebration but there will be a finishing of haman a finishing of all the opposers uh uh Hananiah, Sanballe, Tobiah that try to oppose and resist Nehemiah and the rebuilding of the temple walls. There will be a finishing of your enemies. Come on, clap your hands. There will be a finishing and God is about to finalize. He's about to bring it to a finish. He's about to finish your enemies. He's about to finish those problems. Ha. Huh. He's going to deal with whatever tried to deal with you. He's going to take out whatever tried to take you out. It's a finishing. It's a finishing. Come on. Give us some claps. Give us some likes if you believe and receive this word today. This is going to be a month of finishing. God is releasing you from the thorn of the flesh. God is releasing you from an assignment. God is releasing you. God is releasing you from certain things in Jesus' name. God is releasing you. It is a finishing month. Hallelujah. Jesus. And I declare the Democratic Party, evil leftist agendas, occultic cabal policies is coming to a finish this month. Many, many to kill a parson. You are finished. You are done. It's done and finished in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a mighty clap. In this month of November of Sheshvan, get ready for the heavy rain. Get ready for the flooding. Ha ha. Hira Baborosa and the outpouring of God. You're going to be so enveloped, so caught up and captured. In his presence, there's going to be a flooding, people of God. I want you to pray with me. I want you to pray with me. And just lift up your hands. Because I declare a flooding of God's justice. And outpouring of financial favor and revival. God is going to destroy the drought of sin. And the drought of finances. He's going to destroy Excuse me, there is a drop because of sin. There is lack because God's trying to catch your attention. So in this month, God's going to cover and bury the sins, the evils, the past. And it's not going to be remembered anymore. It's going to be gone. And it's going to vanquish and fully dissolve under the waters of God. Who's ready for open heavens? The heavens are going to open, church. 
the heavens of God's favor and justice is going to open wide and is going to pour forth in Jesus' name. I want you to lift up your hands, pray the Holy Ghost right now. God, I ask you, let this word come upon your people, even as Noah and his family, they stayed above, they were afloat, they did not go under, they did not sink and die in judgment, but they were the head and not the tail. God, I ask you, anoint these people to be the head and not the tail. I'm telling you, you are going to ride this tsunami wave. You are going to outlive your enemies, your haters, your critics. You are going to outlive and you're going to outrun and you're going to outswim all the predators that are trying to kill you. Hit up, Roca, it's going to be done. God is finalizing it. God is finishing it. I break every tie. I sever every witchcraft, soul tie, spirit. It's done. Ruka in Jesus' name. You are going to be above only and not beneath. You are going to be the head and not the tail. You're going to be of the waters, hallelujah, the waters of salvation, the waters of revival, the waters of the Spirit of God. You're going to be above and not below in Jesus' name. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. In this month of November, open up your gates. Open up your ancient doors. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The King of glory is about to come. And there's going to be a flooding a baptism, a full covering immersion of the glory of God. If you believe it, give the Lord a clap. Shout hallelujah. Give us some hearts and likes. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, Clarity Jones, I agree. There's evil in every party. However, we must understand that certain parties, certain groups propagate anti-Christ, anti-Bible agendas more than others. But you're absolutely right. God is dealing with the left, the right, every side in Jesus' name. So get right with God, church. Get right with Jesus. And in this midterms, we're going to see an overturning and the flooding of the tsunami wave of God's red blood of Jesus and of justice in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. People of God, in this moment, I want you to praise God because this is going to be a month of Thanksgiving. Great transition, great Thanksgiving. Hallelujah. My goodness. If you enjoyed and received this word today, I want to give some hearts and likes. Praise God. The outpouring of heavy rain, abundant rain. Elijah said to his servant, Go and look for the cloud. The servant came back, prophet, we don't see the cloud right now. The prophet said, go back, came back, nothing. Go back, came back, nothing. Go back, come on. You need to hear this word. At the seventh time, he saw a cloud the size of a man's hand coming forth from a distance. And the Bible says the drought of three years was finished because of that prophetic word. I'm prophesying to you now. This is the seventh time. Don't give up. Don't give in. Heavy rain is coming. The cloud the size of a man's hand is coming. The glory of God is coming. And there's going to be a release of heavy rain and glory that's going to finish your three-year term of drought that you've experienced. Someone say hallelujah. The rain is coming. The heavy rain is coming. The glory of God is coming in Jesus' name. And it's going to be under the glory of God, the weight of Jesus, the weight of heaven. Hallelujah. Beryl says, I hear the sound of abundant rain. Someone say, I hear the sound. Somebody say, it's coming, it's coming. The sound of abundant rain. I declare and I decree this is the seventh, this is the final, this is the finishing moment, this is the grand, the grand hurrah, this is the moment and the season of what the Lord is going to do. Summer shout hallelujah. Glory be to God. 
Now, people of God, tonight, I'm doing a free Zoom on Halloween night, tonight. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Got to thank you. Yeah, tonight, we are, I'm going to minister, prophesy over every single person. We already capped out at 350 people, but we just opened it up more. So we hope to see you. I'm going to prophesy over every single person who's on the Zoom tonight for Halloween. It's going to be fun. And trust me, you are going to catch an impartation of the prophetic tonight if you join us. Amen. And also, if you are part of the Zoom tonight, Prophecy Now with Dr. Ben Lim, then you will receive a personal prophetic word from the Lord. Amen. So join us for that. Our next Zoom webinar, hallelujah, is on the five fingers of God, the five offices, the fivefold ministry. We're going to talk about the apostolic, the prophetic. What does it mean to be an apostle and a prophet? Is there such a thing as modern day prophets and apostles? So this is for you Join us. All of our Zoom webinars are free, so that's going to be powerful. Amen. Um, I also have an e-course with myself and Dr. Roberts Lairdon called Supernatural Prosperity. Supernatural Prosperity. I believe we need to understand the word and understand that God wants to prosper us. He delights in prospering his servants. So this is going to be released very soon. I want to thank all of you. Many of you have been patient with us. But myself, Dr. Roberts Lairdon, he's the author of God's Generals, the best-selling book series. And he himself is a great general of the faith. So go ahead and purchase this at benlandglobal.com if you want to understand how to experience supernatural prosperity in these days. Amen. Next, of course, this Wednesday, just in two days, I am going to be doing a prophetic convergence with Apostle Chuck Pierce, one of the major prophetic voices of our nation and of our time. This Wednesday, myself and Apostle Chuck Pierce for prophetic convergence. I am a little sad that my good friend, Prophet Leon, is going to be absent in this prophetic convergence broadcast. But get ready for a double-double anointing with myself and Apostle Chuck Pierce this Wednesday. So make sure you get ready for what God's going to do in that. Amen? It's going to be powerful, friends. Next, I will be in Albuquerque, New Mexico this weekend. So come and see us in Albuquerque, New Mexico. If you are in Gallup, Albuquerque, part of the Diné Nation, Come and see us, friends. Three nights of powerful miracle signs and wonders in his presence. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Amen. It truly is revival season. Hallelujah. And next, I do have a mentorship online called 7M Glory Equip. My goodness, this group is so special. And when you are part of this online group mentorship, then you are part of a private group and also you have direct access with me Dr. Ben Lim and also we have two Zoom group every month at least and there's just so much mentorship I believe in mentorship I believe in discipleship so if you love our ministry and love the content that's released the prophetic of revival and if you want to grow in your calling, in your next stage of life, join this group. 7M Glory Equal. It will bless your life. Also, friends, I want to let you know, this Friday, I know there's a lot going on, so bear with me. This Friday is the launching of Glory Coalition. I have been working on, with our team, called Gloco Glory Coalition building the first and best of its kind Christian Web3 hub. 
You see, these are all NFT speakers' characters. Myself, Georgian Banov, Dr. Akeem Naim Collins, Natasha Han, Prophet Jesse, and Amy Shamp. We have been building this Christian Web3 hub. Eventually, we will build our own game, our own cryptocurrency, and also our own metaverse. So this is a long-term vision. But if you want to be a part of Glory Coalition, we are launching early access our nfts this friday so you're going to be hearing a lot more about it this whole week so pray with us do you want to be a part of this do you want to support us in building this gloco glory coalition amen so we just tag the link tree there so join us friends because that is going to be a game changer amen and last but not least friends all of you watching right now i want to invite you to sow I, I feel like we, we need to allow you to sow into this word because get ready for the flood. Get ready for the outpouring of God. Amen. So listen, friends, I want to open up a time for you to sow. If this word blessed you and bore, bore witness with you, I want you to sow. Hallelujah. Sow into the word. Sow into the glory. Sow into the atmosphere. Especially for the month of November. Amen. For the month of November. For this month of November. Do you believe it's going to be a month of heavy rain? Heavy rain. The drought is coming to an end. There is a finishing of every evil demonic plan and agenda. There is a finishing in Jesus' name. So if you want... If you're expecting the outpourings, the open heavens, the flooding of God, I want you to sow in this moment. Amen. And as you are sowing, friends, I want you to comment heavy rain. And that will be the sign that you have sowed. Amen. And as you comment heavy rain, I want to agree with you that this month of November, Sheshvan will be a month of heavy rain for you. Hallelujah. And as you comment heavy rain, I will call out your name in agreement that the Lord will release the heavy rain, the baptism, the fire, the glory, and the power of God in your life. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Comment heavy rain as you so in this atmosphere, in this broadcast, in this moment. Cheryl Lynn, God bless you. God bless you. Rachel, God bless you. Doris, shalom to you. Hadassah, God bless you. Come on, so into this month. November will be your month of heavy rain. Thank you, Weaver. God bless you, Alicia. Hallelujah. If this word ministered to you, if this word stirred up your spirit, man, so and comment heavy rain. DC, Marilyn, DD, Keisha, Karen Tom, Keith Walker, Linda Thomas, yes, child of most high, Carol Baker. Come on, heavy rain. Heavy rain. Zerlene, Esther, Pastor Sharon, Crystal Hodge, Emmy. Melissa Filler. I'll see you guys tonight, and I'm going to message you after this. Vicky, Brenda, heavy rain. Heavy revival, glory, rain. Shatarabata. Rabasata, PJ Clark, DD Godwin, Doris Santiago, Karen Arbiter, Andy Frazier, Mary, Carol Baker, yes, Lori Justice, come on, somebody, Hadassah Favor, what a name, I love that name. 
Rama Denis Gardens Jesus Shala Baba Brota heavy rain friends heavy rain heavy rain heavy rain heavy rain oh Corre heavy rain heavy rain my goodness donna sim god bless you prosperity more more prosperity over you melanie antonucci barbara de huma jennifer love that name too rivers huh. Michelle Coles come on so in faith and an expectation and I wouldn't I wouldn't open up a time to so unless I felt the Lord instruct me and I feel the so strong heavy clouds heavy rain clouds. it's about to pour forth Monica glory be to God Masa Karabrosata Felipe God bless you amen Maxine Holden. Manda de dosha tarabrata. Azabas karakatarada dosha ta. Heavy rain, heavy rain. Hey, la 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 basse. Thank you, Lord. If you believe in the word of the prophets today, I want you to say amen. Hallelujah. J. Carlos, God bless you. Jesus. Jesus. Lift up your hands, friends. Angela, Dr. Angela, God bless you. Lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you for every single person that is connected to the sound of your voice. And I ask you, Father, let the winds of revival God bless you. Let ends of revival and the waves of the floods of your glory. Let it come upon them. You shall lack no good thing. So get ready to thank God. Praise God. Open wide your mouth and he will fill it. In Jesus' name. He will fill it to overflow. In Jesus' name. If you believe it, say amen. It's tipping over. Over people out. Felida Kumar is tipping over in Jesus' name. If you receive today, say amen. Give the Lord some hearts and likes. Praise God. Thank you so much, Mr. Lord's friends. Tonight, tonight, Halloween evening, tonight, October 31st, Reformation Day. Prophecy now, Dr. Ben Lynn. I'm going to prophesy and minister to every single person on the Zoom tonight my goodness so y'all pray with me speak strength into me we already have 350 registered and we just opened it up so we could have more so y'all pray with me amen because tonight will be a life of transformative miraculous prophetic impartation in your life amen god bless you friends this is dr pan Lim. thank you for joining once again if you enjoy our broadcasts, our lives, then please consider giving us a like, follow, subscribe here on my page, Ben Lim. Amen. Share this word with somebody. Tag somebody. Share this on your wall. And thank you so much ahead of time. And also, you can follow me on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. And soon we will be back up on Twitter. Amen. God bless you, friends. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, one of your favorite prophetic voice love you bless you get ready for the heavy rains in the month of november i can't wait to see you soon or even tonight for a webinar for prophecy god bless you shalom